Man, have I been slacking in the 2005 series. Uh, I have actually been watching the shows, I just haven't gone around to reviewing the shows. So today we're going to be talking about Magical Canaan. Uh, Magical Canaan, 2005 show, of course. Uh, it's, uh, we're getting into the real weeds. This is only has about a thousand users on Mao. Uh, although the character design by uh, Akio Watanabe, one of my favorite character designers, which immediately made me think this might be good. Uh, Watanabe, Akio Watanabe is the color designer for the Monogatari series, you probably know, know them for. Uh, but, you know, they've done a bunch of shit. Uh, Soul Taker, they work a lot with Akio Yushimbo. Um, but yeah, Magical Kanan is an otaku oriented magical girl show. Uh, kind of pretty early in the genre. Uh, since Nanoha only came the year before in 2004, which I believe was the first real otaku oriented magical girl show. Uh, um, we're going to talk about Nanoha later on since Nanoha A's came out in 2005. Uh, but this show, I'm kind of mixed on it. Like, it's not great. It's not really anything, like, great at all. <laughs> it's definitely not good. Like, it's not amazing. But then again, neither is Nanoha. Nanoha kind of, like, gets an extra point for being original and also, like, having so many later seasons and also having such a crazy plot. And this is kind of where I'm worried about the show is that I'm on episode 5 right now and... Like, things are still relatively basic Magical Girl stuff. Like, mostly episodic. Um, the rival who's going to obviously eventually become a friend. Uh, you know, just standard stuff. Collecting some sort of thing that by defeating monsters, uh, seeds, uh, the little talking animal guy. You know, they're all fucking the same thing. Uh, now, I say this, but... Then again, look at, like, Card Cup Sakura, right? Sakura, the main plot in Sakura, like, the actual plotty plot overarching stuff doesn't come until, like, after episode 30. So you're watching 30 episodes of episodic stuff. The difference is that Sakura is much better done than this. The episodes in Sakura that are just Monster of the Week stuff are far more entertaining because the monsters are interesting, the, you know, the scenario is interesting, the characters are much better. I mean, Sakura is a fucking legendary character. None of the characters in this show particularly stand out at all. Um, there's, you know, it's otaku oriented, so there's plenty of fan service. There's a lot of otaku, how do I put it? Otaku worship, like they go to Akihabara. There's a, there's a lot of like squeezing in otaku culture in places like getting cosplay cafes and stuff like that, maids, whatever. Uh, squeezing in otaku culture into the show, which kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, and you have plenty of fan service, but uh, but other than that, like the actual um, plots are not. Even though this is aimed for adults, the plots are not more mature than, than your standard Magical Girl show. As opposed to, say, I don't know, another adult-oriented Magical Girl-like uh, thingy, Maroka, where the plot is a little more mature. Or even Naonoha has a more mature relationship, uh, especially in the later seasons. Uh, whereas this doesn't. Uh, and, and I mean, sure it gets points for being early in the genre, but like, it doesn't really get that many points because it it's not original. So I, I mean, Nanoha did it first, uh, and he, and this doesn't even do it as well as Nanoha. And I don't even like Nanoha that much. <laughs> like Nanoha's cool. We'll get to Nanoha. Don't worry. I have I have opinions on Nanoha, but uh, but overall, I felt like there was some other stuff I wanted to talk about. So yeah, the character designs are great, but the soundtrack, the OP is like fun, but the rest of the soundtrack's kind of boring. Uh, like, nothing interesting at all. The animation is subpar, like, meh. It's nothing crazy, but it's nothing... It's very standard for the time period. Um, the the plots, like, the, the monsters that she fights are really standard, basic. Like, none of them have interesting designs at all, which is really a big flaw in a Magical Girl show. Like, one of the best things about Magical Girl shows is having interesting monster designs, whereas this is not interesting at all. Uh... The transformation sequence is pretty good, um, pretty pretty well executed, but not like anything crazy or special. 
pretty standard. I mean, slightly more fans, obviously, than your standard thing, but not, like, anything particularly interesting or stand out. And that's kind of why I've been putting off making this review, is this, this show's not, like, terrible. And it just kind of... This is, like, this is the problem with trying to review every anime in 2005 that I didn't see going in, is that I should have realised this, that most of the shows are just kind of meh. Most of the things... Most anime that get made are just like, eh, it's alright. You know, they're not really great, they're not really awful, they're just kind of alright. And this is just sort of a, a really solid example of an, eh, I guess it's fine. Maybe a 5 or a 6 out of 10. Probably closer to a 5, because there are some really boring episodes. Uh, but then you get to the part that I'm worried about. You see, Nanoha seems like a kind of boring magical girl show and then suddenly the plot takes a wild twist and turn and we end up with this, like space sci-fi shit and I, I'm trying to watch this show right as fast as I can to try and get to see if there is some sort of twist like that because it's quite possible seeing how this is clearly a Nanoha inspired thing I, I want to know but I have to watch like a billion episodes of trash and the reason I'm so concerned about this is that I just got a comment on my Suki show Shuki so Suki show I think it is video which I, I wrote off in the first episode as like a kind of bad a, a pretty bad I think second episode I uh, like halfway through the second episode I was like this just seems like a pretty shit BL show it turns out the comment said this shows about fucking child exploitation and like doing scientific experiments on children or something. No way I could have known that if I dropped it off to two episodes. And, like, there's no way I can give it a proper review then. So maybe I should be trying harder to finish these shows. But at the same time, do I really want to watch a bunch of episodes of this shit? I'm going to give it until, you know, I'm, I'm going to just put this out as my review uh, and drop it after episode five because, like, nothing has happened that makes me particularly want to keep watching I actually originally dropped it after episode 3, uh, but then I was like, maybe something's going to happen that's interesting, so I came back to it, uh, but it's just kind of boring. It's just kind of boring. I'm going to be real. It's just kind of boring. There's n nothing standout-ish enough, and, you know, even a show that's kind of boring, it can at least be either original or have some, like, something. Like, I'll watch a show that's gen generally meh or boring if it has, like, some hook, like... I've, I've already mentioned it in this series once, but, like, Dancing the Vampire Bund is not the best show ever. It's kind of meh. But it has the one hook of the, the, the vampire girl is cute. Or, for example, Dempa Honor to Seishin Ozuko. It's not the best show ever, but it has the one hook that it has a, a, the best OP of all time. And it also the, the blue head girl's pretty cute. But this show has nothing like that. It's just kind of boring. And it f it just needs that one extra something to push it over the edge to be something that I can bear watching for 13 episodes. But it's just not quite. So that's going to be my review of Magical Canaan. Um, if you're really big into... I mean, yeah. It's a, it's a like, if you like Otaku or into Magical Girl shows, this doesn't do anything particularly wrong. If, you, if you're a big fan of that sort of genre... This, yeah, this show's fine, but it's nothing special in the genre, nothing stand out. Only if you're, like, really deep into it, you might get something out of this. But in general, I can't really find myself recommending it to most people. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, and that's closer to a 6 than a 4, but it's a 5 out of 10. And that's going to be it for my review.